in the ski resort of Davos today after a night of thought and a morning's negotiation. It was decided by the Prince and Princess of Wales that the rap should be taken off Sarah Ferguson and she should brave the slopes in front of the press. Fergie, as she's known, was understandably nervous, but she'd been coached and encouraged by the princess. So they all piled into the cable car station with the other tourists. Their destination was eight and a half thousand feet up on the high, clear slopes. And Sarah, looking worriedly behind her, was made to take the lead, which affected her confidence. But then, smiling rather fixedly, she was before the cameras. But she was soon to discover that she now has the protection of the royal family around her to help over the awkward moments. This was public acknowledgement that she could soon be a member of the clan. The princess helped her out with a joke about posing and the need to wiggle your hips. She seemed to be enjoying the fact that the pressure was off her for once, as well she might after six years of the unrelenting spotlight. But they all reckoned that that was enough exposure for the moment. There could be a lifetime of it ahead. The prince courteously led her off. It's not that easy. Yes, thank you very much, sir. Then he stopped for a check, mainly to explain that he wanted to be made public at the beginning that Sarah was on his holiday party. And he said he'd been overruled by the palace. Thank you, sir. And so once the press was satisfied. All right, OK. Excellent. Anthony Carthy, IDN, in Dallas. Anthony Carthy, News at 10, in Davos.